Willie Mo Jr. here. Bro, I gotta keep it 100 with you. Finances are a big issue when it comes to relationship. I mean, some people can't even sit at the table at the top of the month and have a nice conversation about finances because it get just that heat. I know I miss somebody backyard today. So live. Flat out. But today I want to give you some strategy on how you can win in the area of finances if you're in a relationship. Now, if you single as a $1 bill, there's some things that you also can learn through what I'm telling you. Because sooner or later, baby, you gonna find that man. I mean, he gonna find you. Just make sure you looking like something so you can be fine. Flat out. So my wife and I, we've been married now for about 11 years. And Lord have mercy, we done had some financial issues. I can remember when I quit my day job. Uh, what was your day job, preacher? Singing R&B songs, hitting the club, making that paper. Anyway, for some reason, the club and God didn't go together, so I had to stop hitting all them clubs, making that little paper. Which made your boy go broke. I ain't had nothing. Nothing. Not a dime. Flat out. So I'm sitting here pissed off until I had an idea. And then I had another idea. And then I had another idea. See, the thing was, I was confusing my wife, so she could not support me. By Thursday, she'll be like... See, fellas, if you can't be consistent long enough for that woman to get behind that vision, you're going to always have some tug of war in your relationship. If you got three, four, five different visions, then she can't support what you're supposed to, and women love security. That's true. But I dare you to be consistent for the next six months on one vision and watch how that woman fall in line with your vision. Flat out. Uh, bro, bro, what kind of people should I hang around? When you having financial issues, I think you need to change the company that you choose to talk to. Let me do the math. Broke plus broke equals broke. Flat out. Preach, preacher. See, if you show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Chances are the people that you click up with, rock with, you and them probably in the same financial situation. Not me. Because at the end of the day, success leave clues. Flat out. Man, that was good. So remember, consistency, it's key. You're going to have a lot of visions, but I want you to focus on one vision and keep chipping at that tree until it falls down. And in the area of finance, it's just going to unlock for you. In the meantime, get your accountant ready. Get your financial planner ready. Write down how much you want to make because I don't want the blessing to become a burden to you and your household because there is a victory on the other side of this struggle. Flat out. Listen, family, I got to keep it 100 with you. I got my first book. Y'all look. It's me and my wife. It's called Happily After All. You can log on to WillieMoreJr.org, WillieMoreJr.org, WillieMoreJr.org. In this book, I'm talking about finances, how we made it through finances. So you can get the full story, not just a quick YouTube clip, right, or, or a Facebook clip. And then we're also talking about blended families. I got a mother of my child, right? And I wanted to show you how we were able to make that dynamic beautiful. When I go to, to the city that they're in, I can actually stay at their house because we're that peaceful with each other. Her new husband and I are amazing and friends and that's what we do but I want to show you how we got to that point in this book and then I also you know I got to talk about communication how do you make a person hear what you said versus what they heard right it's all in the book happily after all I believe stronger families build stronger churches and stronger churches build stronger communities make sure you get this book uh it's my first one I ain't gonna cry on here with y'all but I just want to tell you it feels so freaking good to finish something. So many people told me what I couldn't do, but I made a liar out of them. Every single day I wake up, I go hard because I know that God put something on the inside of me. So what, I'm adopted. So what, my diploma reads Ferguson Florissant School District. So what, I came from a city where the median income is $17,000 a year. You can do whatever you want to do through Jesus Christ, flat out. Man, I done messed around and got teared up in here. Woo! Man, that was good.